Think Bog! I have to ask how you didn't ever think of this when you sold that sticker because it could be Think Big or if, you know, A for Apple, Think Bag. Are you thinking of bag? Because you know what? Your boy right here, I'm thinking about bags. You know, big bags, small bags, itty bags, big bags, tall bags, all bags. I love all bags. And I'm thinking about them bags. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Galbus. My name is Lumo, and today we are looking at r slash crappy design, a subreddit so awful in its execution that it fits its own theme perfectly, which was the point and is the joke. It's a subreddit that's entirely dedicated to things that are just so horribly designed and poorly thought out that you have to stop and question, why would you do that? They just pasted the same image into the camera screen without even cropping out the camera. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know why, but the look of bewilderment on that dude on the right's face is killing me. I really want to know what this is an ad for, because I see a GER on the left hand side, so I want to imagine it is for a delicious Borgor. But you never know with these. Thanks for visiting. Whoa. I feel like I just had a stroke trying to read that. Is this Swedish? That is a terrible font. That is actually like, like you had to have seen that. This has to have gone through somebody. There has to have been some quality check here, right? Like, I got my hands over my face in shock. There's, there's no way this should have made it past any sensible marketing department. You should have seen that. You should have caught that. I found not one, but two carpeted bathrooms in the wild. I am actually impressed. Normally you would expect this kind of thing to, you know, look like a, a pee rug, you know, a rug full of pee. That's what a pee rug is, just in case you didn't know. I would expect this to look so much grotier, especially around the toilet, and yet this carpet is immaculate. I'm floored. I mean, it's gotta be moldy as gr and gross as all get out because, you know, the shower. And you know, I, if you know anything about mold, it's that you don't want to be making a toxic puff cloud with every step. So I'm, I'm just amazed at how just immaculate this is. In this apartment for sale, you can greet your guests right from the bath. Yo, I'm, I'm actually apartment hunting right now. When, do, when can I put down my down payment? Let me stand up, opening of the Witcher 3 style. Let me welcome them with my most expensive suit and tell them that they are allowed to be themselves in my home. Allow me to present my cheeks as is custom in Southern hospitality to let people know that this house is a safe space for them. The cheeks of friendship. <laughs> The layout of these pills. What in the Tom Clancy series butts? Monday, Tuesday, Sunday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Friday. This this has the same energy of those weird like typography graphics that are like the eyes and everything are all slanted. So it's supposed to be like, I believe and I will achieve. And it's like, I will then achieve believe. That's what this feels like. Who told the employees to make the whole small? <laughs> Oh my god, dude! Oh, that's so good! Why can anybody's heads fit in that? I, I love this! It's so dumb! It's awful! It's genuinely terrible! At some point out in the comments, I don't think our human faces would fit in those holes if the holes were Powerpuff sized. And you know, that's correct. Our heads would not be that big because the Powerpuff girls had massive faces. So this might be the best option but it just feels like those dudes who cosplayed the Powerpuff Girls in the Powerpuff Girls, you know? And I had a bit too much Botox and Hans has seen some stuff, wouldn't you agree? Hans? Okay, okay, now first of all, right hand side, let's talk about Anna first, we'll get the Hans after. Anna just straight up looks like she has taken a couple too many slams of the car door to the face, you know what I mean? Like the dragons from Final Fantasy are the same way. They're disfigured because someone stuck their head between the driver's seat and the door frame and just kept, you know, just, just slamming it. And then Hans, poor Hans looks like he witnessed the entire thing and then bet on a fart on his wedding day and lost. That's what you get, poopy pants on your wedding day. And I hope you remember that for the rest of your life. And I hope your wife divorces you on the spot because you crapped yourself at the wedding. You took a bet and you lost after you watched a girl get her face slammed in by a car door. Kofi! The only element I need. First of all, I feel like uh, mixing these metals will give you nothing good, uh, especially because fluorine is not a metal. 
But simultaneously, that is not how you spell coffee. That is not how you spell coffee. You need you need an extra E there. You know, why am I arguing this? First of all, it almost looks like a cutting board, but I'm sure it's not. I'm sure it's just a foam office hanger. But I have a feeling that whoever designed this product probably doesn't have a good grasp of chemistry or graphic design. A desk sofa combo that doesn't work because you have to remove everything from the desk every time you want to lay in it. That's, I think, the thing, right? Because if you look at it, the dude's only got a laptop. And, like, don't mishear me, I'm an epic gamer who, you know, I got, I got uh, th the figures on my desk of women who aren't real, who I apply unrealistic dating standards to buy because of. But then I have my monitors, my lights, my cups, etc. Like, my desk is a lived-in space. If your desk is just somewhere to sit, put down a laptop, or maybe do a little bit of writing, I could see this being viable. Some of the newer trains in Melbourne have support beams in front of the display, so you can't see what station you're stopping at. Oh, that is a millions of dollars mistake. That is, oh, it's so bad. That is terrible. That is genuinely awful. Something, a project this big, it had to go through committee member after committee member after committee member with planners and, you know, accessibilities professionals, like all of these different things to make sure that this is suitable for, you know, the average Joe. And uh, then they made a mistake this big. May the force, the force, do it, do what the? Again, type, typology, typography, slaughtering my brain. This is, yeah, the first thing I see is, uh, Mayo Thifo. <laughs> Darn you, Swars. <laughs> These benches were placed further back than the shelter! <laughs> and what, what kills me is you know, you know, some poor dude was like, Hey boss, we set the chairs and the concrete slightly too far back. We need to tear it up and put it forward. And the boss was just like, That's not in the budget. They're going to have to get wet. They can stand. This 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 had to be a comedy of errors. This poor Photoshop design. Oh, oh, there's so much going on here. Now, first of all, why do you need a drill press like that? That doesn't seem extremely sturdy, unlike an actual drill press. And second of all, why him hand is so blurry? Why did you need to Photoshop a new hand in? Why is the dog helping operate this like slapped together Photoshop drill press? Why does that guy look like a discount Disney villain? I have so many answers. Thank you so much for making this handicap ramp. I'm so glad this building is wheelchair accessible. Oh, that's not. That's not correct. That's not how you're supposed to do this kind of thing, you know? Like, I, maybe there's a case to be made that you can go up the grassy canole, but like, that shouldn't even be something you have to consider. <laughs> the Bar Ending Academy! <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, it's supposed to be bartending. Wow. How are you this bad? Graphic design, you know, is my passion. No access, welcome. How do you how do you fail architecturally on this level? Is that just to try and convince people to come in and rent your properties and then hope they never ask about the balcony? Like the top floor one at least looks like it has a door. The rest don't. Unless part of that wall comes out, like that black wall, because it looks like there's a line in it, but no, that's just a separation of glass panes. I don't understand the thought process behind this design. This kind of blind. Never close all the way with one try. No, I will do you one better. We have a glass door downstairs with a blind inside the door. So it's like glass, blinds, glass. And it's controlled by a magnet. And the magnet got off of its track in the first week. And we cannot operate this door anymore. We cannot use the blinds. And it hurts. It physically causes me pain. And remember, I am a bodybuilder. I spend a lot of time, you know, lifting weights and getting stronger. 
I struggled to adjust these blinds because the sheer force now required to move it any amount is obscene, but it also occasionally will re-derail, causing you to send yourself flying with the sheer force you have to put behind your efforts to move this stupid knob. It's awful. I would take these over that. And that's all the time we have for you today on Calibus. If you like this, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and maybe share it with a friend whose passion is graphic design and you need to knock them out of that poor decision. If you do want more r slash crappy design, there'll be another one popping up in just a couple of seconds. But until then, my name has been Lumo, and I hope to see you in the very next Calibus video. Have a great rest of your day.